All right, let's see how it fits. <coughs> Um, it's pretty big. Oh my god, did we cut it too big? Welcome back. Today we are installing one of our bunk windows that's going on this side of the van. We decided on two styles of bunk windows. Um, so our driver's side window will be a sliding style and the passenger side here will be an awning style. Um, so working on the awning style one today. We opted for variety because we felt that we couldn't make a decision first of all, so that <laughs> kind of played into it. But also, if we experience rainy days when we're on the road, it's nice to have that tea vent or awning style window because you can open it up and not have tons of rain and water coming into your van. Yeah. But anyways. Let's get to it. So right now, Claire is gonna clean the inside and outside panels with a little bit of Windex, um, <laughs> just to make sure that there's no grime or dirt. Um, make sure that when we cut, everything's clean and uh, lessen the probability of rust as best possible. got an angle grinder uh, to cut off the ribs here in the van. Um, you want to be very careful not to cut the skin, the outside portion of the van. Uh, yeah, the so trouble. this right here is the rib and you're just gonna go into it but not all the way out. Exactly. Are you nervous? Nervous. We're getting there though folks, we're getting there. So we've got our template taped up. What we're gonna do is drill two holes through here. Um, so that way we can stick some nails through or screws through and then take this template and place it on the other side so that we know uh, exactly where we want this window to be. That's right. Simple, easy, fast. Let's see it. There we go. On the inside, it was pretty much this against the wall. So when you take it on the outside, you have to make sure that it's sort of the same thing. So if this was against the wall on the inside, this needs to be facing out on the outside. So now we just line it up. One in here, go to the other side, one in there. Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> John has filed around the rough edges of the cutout that we made. We're going to put a little bit of this primer. This is Rust-Oleum and it protects against rust. We're going to put it in this little cup here and just paint quickly around the edges and let it dry for a couple minutes. One other thing we forgot to mention is to tape around this because it's a magnet all of your shavings from cutting the hole right here will fall and col collect onto that which can be sort of problematic because again rust is something you definitely have to watch out for and as you can see it's collected quite a bit of small like um metal shavings <laughs> So 
guys, it's 8 o'clock on Sunday night and we realized we made a mistake. We're putting in this bunk window and I put the casing that goes around uh, upside down. So, gotta take all the screws out and try again. So our window is officially installed. We have all the screws in on the inside and we use this butyl tape to kind of seal it up around it so that no water is getting through. But as you can see, if you come a little bit closer, you can see that it's sort of oozed out as we screwed in the screws on the other side and so i'll just need to take this like spatula and just try and cut away the excess butyl tape so that we get a nice clean line around the rim of the window day two window insulation this is pretty cool because it's the first time that we're doing something again and not for the first time so we've already installed one window on one side of the van and now we get to do it on the other side and I feel like we are feeling a lot more confident going into this one because we know how to do it now. Okay guys, we are starting off our work day with breakfast of champions, <laughs> bagels. With some vegan cream cheese. Yeah, we've been sampling these recently. I don't know, we've been really into bagels and we've tried a couple brands. We do not like the Kite Hill one, not good. It's very like chalky. I did not like that one last weekend. This time we're trying Veo Life. Veo Life. Veo Life, and it's vegan and no preservatives, which is great. Um, we've also tried Go Veggie. Go Veggie. That one's good, but it does have a lot of preservatives, but mm. it is tasty. So, anyways, yeah, highly recommend this one. Tastes very yummy. It's almost like buttery. And if you are in Rhode Island, we got such a bagel bagels, which are our favorite, and they're so delicious. So. We're just going to enjoy and then get the day started. So, a little trouble we encountered with the last window uh, is they provide these screws, but they really don't have enough bite to grab the casing and into the window and to create a good seal in the van. Um, so, what we're going to do, like we did in the last window, swap these out for some hex head screws. <laughs> of our window so that way we can trace it onto the wall of the van. And one of the things you'll notice with these windows is that they do have this handle, right? So it juts out a little bit and because of that we have to cut a hole into our cardboard just like this. Um, it's right in the middle so it doesn't have to be exact. And then prop it up a bit because we'll flip everything over. So what we'll do is we got these two by threes or whatever wood, anything you have to just prop it up a little bit. You lay down your cardboard and then what you do is you flip your window over and the handle should just go right into your cutout there. And this way you can get a nice even tracing or else it wouldn't lay flush on the cardboard. So the plastic wrap fairy <clears throat> is gonna come and protect the van. That's right. Whoa. Just like that. Um, 
pretty big. The hole or the... Yeah. Yeah, the hole is big, huh? All right, I think what it is. What do you think happened? I think I, I went a little bit too outside. I couldn't stand the line on this outside here. Thank I think you. that was my problem, so I came a little wide. You should have stopped. I tried, but then you once you cut outside, what are we going to do? I have to like kind of curve it. <coughs> Well guys, I made a pretty big mistake. I cut this window a bit too wide. Uh, so you can see me here layering on butyl tape, which I hoped would fill in any gaps and create a really good seal once we screwed in the window, which thankfully it did. Here's our water test. John has a hose and he's just spraying the window, obviously, to see if we have any leaks coming through. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. This is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm.